before we get to the Jordan 28s, 29s, talk about hyper revs for those of you guys interested following the shoe stuff, trying to get your perfect fit. Um, right, I low cut these and have had plenty of security. And as for an outdoor shoe, I got to rate them like 9 or 10 out of 10. Um, I've been hooping in them barefoot, no socks. The material is like a sock, and the insole is actually really sticky, so I had amazing traction. And um, I have no, to I don't do any toe drag, so I think the material is going to be plenty durable for me. Um, so I have to say that for outdoor, I really like these. As for feel, one thing is the heel feels a little bit clunky, um, but it's not a huge deal, and they're pretty lightweight. So I have to recommend this style of hyper revs barefoot for outside like ooh I've got a real I've, I've got a performance video coming actually talking about some of the features but I found these to be super slippery indoors right and I don't the only sticky indoor shoes I have are the hyper dunks and I have them out of size so I don't like them that much and I'm looking to get a new indoor shoe for dunking basically and I've been directed to the Jordan 28 and 29. Um, so I've gone through a lot of shoes. In January, I'm headed overseas, and I want to take two shoes with me. I think I'm going to take 10 and a half Piper Riffs, and then 10 and a half of something that I can get up in a dusty court. So um, I, it's been suggested Kobe 9s, 8s or 9s, or um, uh, Jordan 28s, 29s. So before I get either of these shoes, I'm curious for you, any of you who hoop in the Jordan 28-29s, um, how you feel about the shoe. Obviously people say it's really high performance. Um, my concern is like the fit, obviously the shroud looks really high, I don't know how it, high it fits. Um, it seems like, geez, it's, it seems like similar material to this, yeah? Is it just insane and I need to buy it? And if so, should I go with the 28s or the 29s? What is more durability, right? I hear about the heel, or the the airbag popping in the front and if I want to rock these shoes for like three plus months abroad like I don't want to have to be buying new shoes right so are, are these gonna last um, pretty much so I guess maybe the Jordan 29's will be hopefully my last shoe purchase this year because this shit's expensive but uh, any amount of feedback and for those of you guys into hyper revs, again, I've got a full performance review coming. And um, preview to that is just saying I think they're great outdoor hoop shoes as far as comfort and fit. So thanks, everybody, and let's get talking in the comments. Peace.